Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here. Steam now has local network game transfers between your PC and your deck. We're going to go over the restrictions, the requirements, we're going to do some speed tests. All of this and more are coming up, so stick around. All right, we've been waiting for this a really long time, being able to copy games from your PC to your Steam Deck. Why would you want to do this? So obviously, uh, if you have a faster network than you have internet, maybe you have internet quota, or perhaps you're on location somewhere else and you would like to install a game from your friend's computer. That would work as well. Requirements include um, all devices must be on the beta client or higher. You must have it enabled in downloads, and we'll show you how to do that. Devices must be on the same LAN and visible to each other, so firewalls and security software could get in the way. And of course, desktop mode is required to send files from the Steam Deck back to your PC if that's something you want to do. So what are the restrictions? Um, let's start off with both Steam clients have to be completely idle. No game playing, no downloads, nothing like that, no installations going on. The game must be public to both users or both machines. You know, you can't have a private beta on your machine and then have your friend get access to it. it won't work that way. No preload, so you download a new game for preload, you can't copy the preload over to your Steam Deck. Uh, games must be up to date. If there's anything pending, it will not copy over. And there are some other restrictions depending on what your settings are. And let's take a look at those settings, shall we? So off, of course, is obvious. If it's turned off, then none of this can happen. Only my own devices, devices that are on the LAN signed in as you. Only my friends, so only people who are on your LAN and your friends. So this could be like a family member, for example. Or you could say any user. Again, they all have to be on the LAN. This doesn't work outside of your local area network. Okay, so let's get things set up. On the Steam Deck side, of course, you must be at least in the beta or above, right? So we'll go to system, and we're gonna take a look at our system update channel. I'm on the preview, which is higher than beta. So that's perfect. You can be on beta and you'd be good to go too. And if you look at your downloads, you'll have the game file transfer over local network and you can make one of those selections that you would like to have. We're gonna go ahead and leave it as allowed transfers from my own PC. That is the default, by the way. All right, so we're going to go into settings on the PC and we are going to make sure that we are on the beta channel. And of course, we'll have to have it set up in downloads as well. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, let's do our network copy of Horizon Zero Dawn, 72 gigabytes in size. So once you uh, initiate the download, go to your downloads and you should see that it is indeed transferring game files on local network from device. And it'll tell you what device it's transferring from. Now, if you don't see this blue bar, then it's downloading from the internet. <laughs> so that's not gonna work out for you. But on the Steam side, this is what you'll see over here. Basically, it'll give you the basic stats of what's going on. Not much else, but not really anything else you really need to notice. You can, of course, stop the transfer on either side. Now, the question is, how long does this take? Now, we're not going to install 35 minutes or whatever it is each and every time, but we do want to get an idea as to how long this took. So we'll zoom you forward a little bit here, and now we only have about 10 seconds remaining. So what ended up being our total travel time across the network? I'm a one gigabit LAN guy. Everything is wired up. But both the Steam Deck and my PC are wired. Total copy time, 34 minutes, 57 seconds. Let's compare and contrast this to an internet download of the exact same title. Again, we're gonna take Horizon Zero Dawn and we will install it from the internet. Once again, I am on one gigabit uh, internet and I have really nothing else going on during this download. My deck is wired through ethernet, so I have the maximum speed humanly possible. Now, initially it's showing about over an hour of download time, but this changed dramatically. As you see, we fast forwarded and now we're finishing up the install. We have about 10 seconds to go. What I found amazing was downloading actually appeared to be faster. Unbelievably so. In fact, even including the finalization after the download, we still saw an extraordinary speed difference in my particular situation. How much faster? My download was 18 minutes and 11 seconds for Horizon Zero Dawn. Miles faster than it was over a network copy. 
Now, what about just taking your SD card out, plugging it into your PC using Linux file system for Windows, and copying that big monster 72 gigabytes directly to the micro SD card? Using my tool Deck Drive Manager, which allows for pretty easy use of this, you will find out that the copy time was actually considerably longer, in fact, miles longer than either one of the other copy times. The deployment time to the SD card was one hour, 18 minutes and 41 seconds. Not a good deal. Well, there you go. This is a, there was a very quick look at the uh, local network copying. I hope you enjoyed this. Please, of course, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. It makes a big difference. It really does. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.